Stag Nation, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Brazen. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, sir. Um, Ledger is a cold storage wallet. Mm -hmm. You know, if you bought your Bitcoins specifically, I can only speak of Bitcoin, and you wanted to move it into cold storage, you can use cold storage devices like a Trezor. You can have a code card. You can even make your own wallet, or maybe you can set up a note. Another option is the Ledger. We know that one of the famous devices is the Ledger Nano X. We are not promoted by these guys. So this is not even about that. But at the same time, there was another company called Ledger X. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, called Ledger X, right? And you know, there were people that uh, they run along the lines of they like to be on the gray area right they like to confuse people in order to get more business i get it it's business tactics but at the same time these are business tactics into a space that is unregulated and extremely scammy so double o tell us man what is ledger and what is ledger x because it seems there might be some confusion somewhere especially considering one of them has now changed their logo yeah, there's some rumors trying to get cooked up, trying to confuse Ledger into the old Ledger X, FTX situation. Mm. Let's first remember, before I jump into all of this, that the cost of 2008 financial crisis, uh, crisis was derivatives, right? Mm -hmm. And one of these ledgers do exactly that. Guess derivatives, which? Derivatives, fake money, paper money. Ah, make it print. Yeah. Okay. Ledger X, by the way, they've been all over the interweb, deleting their old logo, all their influence, all their interactions with FTX. Options, swaps, and futures. See that right there, the first thing on their page? Crypto derivatives explain, trying to explain derivatives of crypto. Right. So a uh, 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 Ponzi scheme inside another Ponzi scheme. Mm -hmm. An Ethereum Ponzi scheme inside another Ethereum Ponzi scheme. And Whoa. guess who bought them out? FTX. Oh, FTX bought them out. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Let's zoom in real quick. Let me show you guys what these guys were up to. Look here. Brett Arison, president of FTX.us. By the way, .us does not mean that FTX was an American company. Which is another issue that we have right now with FTX. Because, guess what? They had money. On the highlands, they're not registered in the US. There's a lot of fake companies out there, man. The acquisition marks a significant milestone. So, this is when FTX bought Ledger X, right? This is when they were trying to expand, make that scheme, that Ponzi scheme, even much bigger. By the way, look at all those reds Polygon, Polkadot, Solana, just redding all the way. Bitcoin holding up strong, though. That said, though, we believe the integration of our technology capabilities, products, portfolio, and large balances sheet and Ledger X will enhance our ability to provide innovative products, innovative products to all US cryptocurrency traders. We're excited to take the step and work with US regulators to ensure compliance with the existing derivative license regime. So guess what? They are working with the CFTC. Not only is the SEC not doing their job, the CFTC let this pass through. So EFTC, CF, CFTC is involved with what happened at FTX. Look at that. And this happened right underneath their nose. Anyhow, this is what we're trying to do. To shape the future of the industry, they say. Shake the future of the industry. If you want to shake the future of the industry, this is where you should be at. The real ledger. Own your own value, store your own value. Yeah, this is true. You know, <clears throat> if they said they had any hopes of shaping this industry, man, what we are seeing is that uh, they have, I don't know what plan they will call it, but their plan is so far heading in a very left direction, you know, as we can see. So, it's disappointing, but I don't want people to confuse these, man. Definitely, um, 
move your coins off the exchange. These sure. are the viruses in the space, man. Why would yeah. you? We are trying to decentralize and get away from what the banks are doing, what the current yeah. exchanges are doing in the in the stock market. But you're bringing that same evil into crypto, yeah, and you're wondering why this is happening. Space. Absolutely, but I think people should definitely understand this is not a cold storage, you know, company. It's something not to be get confused about because you know people might get trapped with things like this. But uh, definitely. You know, when you talk about Ledger, you know, the Ledger Nano, it's definitely a different, completely different thing from what this is. So, yeah, it's just, it's weird, man. It's just a strange time to be alive, right? We have a massive range of scammers. Was this what the dot-com bust was like? Because I feel like this is worse. I was not here for the dot-com bust, but... Oh, you're on mute. How did you go on mute? This man is on mute the whole time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just getting out of college. I was building websites, and those websites weren't going anywhere anymore. Literally, at the time, you come out, you put a dot com, you're a multi million dollar company, man. People were buying Vipers. Dutch Vipers were my, was my thing back in the day. Mm. Well, I think this helps. I hope this helps, you know, clarify for somebody out there. You know what I mean? It's different things. One is cold storage, where you move your bitcoins to keep them safe from centralized platforms from being frozen and in your own custody self-custody right and this ledger x or yeah yeah they're trading paper they're trading it. futures they're trading the yeah. future of your money that will never exist <laughs> your lambo <laughs> money is gone <laughs> lambo money is gone <laughs> yes sir well any final thoughts sir Oh yeah. As always, this was an interesting conversation. If you want to continue to have that conversation, follow, like, subscribe on YouTube, Stack, Stack Fin on Twitter. We are on there all the time. Stack right. Fin on Facebook, Instagram. We don't flex that much. Maybe someday we'll start flexing, but you know we don't flex that much. We'll start flexing soon, man. I need to start flexing <laughs> on these people soon because I don't think that. I don't think that I was born into this world to just live and die with no flex. <laughs> so I have to flex this so I can check that off the box. So maximum Yo. flex coming soon. Stay tuned. <laughs> I'm on podcast. You know, you want to have a conversation? I speak to you. Let's, let's, come on, bring it on. Exactly. Thanks well, for watching. Until next time. Brazen out. Double O.